Okay, now we are going to solve practice problem 3.6 from study cookbook and the question is using mass analysis find I0 and I0 is the current here in the circuit. So first of all, if we see carefully here, I0 is the current that pass through this resistor and I3 also the current that pass through this resistor. So we can just rename I3 with I0 because the value is the same so let's just make that I0 so we don't need to work twice so we have loop I0 loop I1 and loop I2 okay let's start by using KVL at loop I0 okay let's do KVL at loop I0 and KVL said that the sum of voltage in a loop will equal to 0 and we will start from this 6 ohm resistor so we have 6 ohm and we need to multiply it by I0 to get the voltage and then we move on to this 8 ohm resistor so we need 8 and because we work on I0 so I0 come first but here I2 is flowing to the opposite direction so minus I2 and then one more is 4 ohm resistor so we will have 4 multiplied by I0 but here I1 is flowing to the opposite direction minus I1 and that will equal to 0 and now let's do some simple algebra here 6 plus 8 is 14 14 plus 8 is 18 so i will have 18 i0 then for i1 i only have this value here minus 4 i1 and then for i2 i only have minus 8 i2 and that will equal to 0 and let's save this as equation number 1 so now let's move on to another loop which is loop I1 so let's do KVL at loop I1 again the sum of voltage is equal to 0 here and we start from this voltage source here the current is flowing from negative to positive so the sign will be negative and the value is 16 now move on to this 4 ohm resistor and because we are working on I1 so we need to multiply it by I1 first but here I0 is flowing to the opposite direction so minus I0 and then the last one is this 2 ohm resistor so we'll have 2 multiplied by I1 and then here I2 is flowing to the opposite direction. So this will equal to 0. And now let's do some algebra again. Minus 16. The only I0 is here. So I will have minus 4. I0 and for I1 I have 4 plus 2 which is 6. 6 I2. Then for I mean 6 I1. Yeah, 6 I1 and then for I2 I only have this one so minus 2 I2 is equal to 0 okay now let's move all of this to the right hand side so we'll have 4 I0 minus 6 I1 plus 2i2 is equal to minus 16. Okay, let's save this as equation number 2. And now we move on to the last loop. Here, let's do KVL at loop i2. So the sum of voltage in a loop will equal to 0. And we start from this dependent voltage source and the current is flowing from negative to positive so the sign will be negative and the value is 10i0 
Okay, and then we move on to this to ohm resistor. So we will have this is 10 I0 dot I1 plus 2 ohm. So we are working on I2, so I2 come first. Then I1 is flowing to the opposite direction here, so I will have minus I1. Then one more, I will have 8 multiplied by I2, but here I0 is flowing to the opposite direction. And all of this will equal to 0. Okay, now let's do algebra again. This is minus 10 I0 and this is minus 8 I0. So I will have minus 18 I0. And for I1, I only have this value here. Minus 2 I1. Then for I2, I have 2 plus 8. 2 plus 8 is 10. So I will have 10 I2. Okay, now let's save this as equation number three so we have this equation here equation number one number two and number three okay this should be equal to zero okay now let's form the matrix of linear system equation from equation one two and three And I do not want to calculate this manually, so let's do that in MATLAB. But yeah, let's form the matrix first. So we'll have 18 minus 4 and then minus 8. And then the second matrix, the second row is 4 minus 6 and then 2. And then the last row is minus 18 minus 2 and 10 now we will have v1 v2 and i mean i0 i1 and i2 i0 i1 and i2 and that will equal to 0 minus 16 and then 0 Okay, let's plug this into MATLAB and the result will be here soon. So, so from MATLAB, we got I0 is minus 4 ampere, I1 is minus 2.5714 and I2 is minus seven point seven one four three and we are asked about i zero so i zero is here we have minus four ampere which is exactly the same as the answer key and let me know if you found any mistake in my calculation in the comment and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you and bye bye